if I could spend the night? I know you said not to touch anything, but I was wondering if I could cover the clown statue that's in the corner of the living room. Get out of the house. Now. I'll call the police. Why? We don't have a clown statue. Whoever did this left balloons just like that with my daughter. Every one of them had a date and time written on it. What date did it say in your balloon? Thursday, 2.31 a.m. Then you have two days to come up with a plan. He's demonic. He's possessed, but there was never an exorcism. So if we shoot him? Then the demon leaves his body and he's dead. What did he say? He wants to, to make me bait. He wants to just put me out there so that the clown can get me and, and then I'll shoot. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Local police have issues an 11 o'clock curfew, so be sure to get home quickly and safely. This movie is about a possessed clown terrorizing this town. And basically, this young lady and her friends have to deal with this possessed clown. So, there's not really any kills in the movie. And when they do happen, they're off screen. So, that's kind of a bummer. The mythology behind the character isn't really defined, so that really, to me, takes away from the movie. And it's kind of ripping off on the whole it with the red balloons and stuff. So that kind of took me out of the movie as well. The acting was pretty good, but... It's nothing really to this movie to really latch on to. I don't really care about the main characters. And it also has a vibe of the rain. Instead of it being seven days, it's two days before the clown is supposed to make his major attack. So, I didn't really care for this movie. I really hate to see, say this about independent film, but it was nothing really exciting to see in this movie. It doesn't last too long. It's only an hour and 20 minutes, so it doesn't drag. I give it that, but other than that, it's not really anything to get excited about watching. So this is my review. This is Wildman Wolf signing off. See you next time.